Hi friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and I have a fun little embellishment uh, tutorial for you today. I got a request from a nice lady on Pinterest who said she's new to paper crafting or junk journaling and saw a pin I had made of these fun embellishments um, using butterfly wooden buttons. And I've done a few different styles, like with circles, I used a butterfly paper punch, I've used book page, pattern paper, all of that. And then these just adorable um, wooden butterfly buttons. I had found these actually at a yard sale and then later found out that they have them on Amazon um, in different patterns and stuff. And so I bought them on Amazon too. And I'll link the different um, things that I use in the video for you guys in the description. Um, and then the items, if they're available on Amazon or, you know, in my Amazon shop too. So anyway, we'll, we'll do that. So if you see something that you don't have that you might want to try out. I also made... Um, one with a round wooden button that has a pattern on it too. Just to show you if butterflies aren't your thing, you know, do whatever shapes, you know, or any kind of buttons. You can do vintage buttons, other things that you have, whatever color palette you like. And then this one, I even just nest did some I, I nested some butterfly paper punches on a circle just to kind of show you again that you, you, you can make fun paper embellishments with the supplies you have on hand. I did do a little hand sewing with these because I think they look nice, you know, sewn on. But you could just hot glue them on there if you wanted to. You know, you do you. It'll all be okay. So I am using um, paper punches. These are We Are Memory Keeper brand. And I haven't been able to find these. It was a set that came. There's a one and three quarter inch a one inch and this five eighths inch. And I know I've done videos using these before because they're super cute. Um, but I did find a similar butterfly that's a two inch butterfly. So maybe just a touch bigger than this one that I think would work fine that I'll link for you just in case y'all want to check that out. Um, and then I'm also just using different sizes of circle punches and then scraps paper scraps um and again depending on you know what papers you choose yours are going to look different and i guess it kind of depends on the mood you're in i also always have just a lot of circles punched um so i may use some of those for mine or we may use some of my scraps i pulled out and then the buttons themselves um here are the little butterfly ones again um I'll put a link for you, but you know, there's different colors um, that you get quite a few. I've, I've used a lot of mine, but we'll make a couple with some butterfly buttons. And then if you want to do wooden buttons, I love this variety pack. I have a bunch of these, obviously, and I've used them for lots of projects. It's the same idea, just with a circle button. And then I think I even put, yeah, I put a circle on a butterfly, which I thought turned out kind of cute too. So I love how these look using book page. So I am going to just reach in here um, since I already have these punched and <laughs> just grab some. But um, book page, it sometimes helps to either do a few layers, right, or to punch out of a piece of cardstock, um, you know, that that's a little bit thicker, the same size on the cardstock because it looks like it's the one and a half inch circle, um, just so that that book page has some. I'm gonna just do a few of these, so we'll have them. Um, it's substantial, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You don't want to sew onto a piece of paper that could easily tear or rip. Now, I'm not using any other adhesive. I'm just sewing mine on. Uh, you certainly can use adhesive. So this is one where I just use a circle. And let's find either find one or punch one that's a little bit smaller to nestle under there just because I like that layered look. So now I have that and we'll just grab a butterfly. 
Now I'm using just a regular needle and thread here. You could, if you wanted to, I'm just looking at the orientation of my text on my page and turning it. Um, you know, you could use embroidery floss, but the holes on these buttons are pretty tiny, so you probably would have to use just a few strands, not the whole whole piece, um, and and certainly use a, a needle that will fit through the, the hole in the button, right? So this is one of those things that I think really adds something fun and extra to a tag, to a page in a journal, to embellish a pocket, to put on a cover, you know, anything like that. Um, I use them for all kinds of things. I love them. I even just make what I call just like the circle medallions sometimes and just glue, you know, circles of paper together to use as embellishments. Um, my thread did get a little bit wonky there on the back, but that's okay. Um, and that's it, right? And I did do a little bit of inking using my walnut stain, um, the Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Walnut, which is my favorite. Um, I also really like Vintage Photo, and there's a couple others, but the browns are my favorites. Um, let's see. Uh... Let's do one, so the butterfly punch, right? I love the butterfly punch. I already have some butterflies punched out, but um, it, they come in the three sizes. I've primarily just been using this one, the one and three quarter inch, but if you don't have buttons and you want to, you could go to the next size and punch yourself out a fun little butterfly. and glue or sew it on. See how cute that would look? And again, if you wanna ink a little bit, you could do that. It's just so fun to sit and play with your, you know, this is one of those projects that you can go through some paper scraps. You can um, just decide what you think looks cute. You know, again, I have that Whoops, I didn't tie a big enough knot. Um, I have a, a large uh, vintage button collection and certainly, you know, a tiny little button just without all the patterns and stuff would look really cute on here as well. And I've done those. All right, so these are two pieces of cardstock, but I think kind of the neutral with the stripe and then the green and the yellow flower on this smaller butterfly will make it look cute. And depending on, you know, I'm using brown thread. Again, you could change up the color of your thread, right? Um, you, I go through at least twice, but you know, you could go through, like some of these I went through a whole bunch and so there's a nice big thick uh, stripe of thread there and then some I just did the, the two times and it's a little less obvious. If you're worried about your knots or your threads on the back, put a little piece of washi tape or a little drop of glue and let them dry and they won't go anywhere. Um, mine pretty much all get glued down so I'm not too worried about them. Um, I do love the butterfly this is actually pretty fragile dictionary page, but I, again, I like the look of the text. Let's see if we can find a circle we want to use. Cute. All right, that one kind of went a little more neutral. Should we do a pop of a color? Let's do that. <laughs> um, and again, it's just your, let your imagination take you where it will. You could even sew on little pieces of ribbon. I mean, just go to town. I'm glad that this pen, it's been on Pinterest <laughs> for a while. I'm glad somebody saw it and said, wow, I'd like to know how you did that. So I just, I think I took some still pictures of a big pile of these I had made for something and turned it into a little, a little idea pin on Pinterest. 
So thank you for the request. All right, so I think that kind of that kind of does it. It was a, a quick and easy one to show you guys how you can, again, do them without circles, with layered circles. I really like how that one turned out. Um, it's fall right now while I'm making this video, so those colors are kind of speaking to me, but that one's beautiful, isn't it? And see how they just all look different, kind of like a butterfly. Okay, I hope you like it. I hope um, you will... Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you liked this super easy, fun embellishment idea. And if you plan to make some, let me know. If you haven't already, if you can subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate it. It really helps. Have a great day, everybody. Until next time.